Hello everybody, my name is Nasty Mold, and in this video we are going to get all of today's seasonal candles, do the quests, uh, get our information on today's shard event, and everything to do with our dailies. First up though, we're going to get our seasonal candles. There are four of these to find in the daylight period today. First one is up in the social space, and the rest can all be found below, so let's head down there, and I'll meet you at the bottom. With today's rotation, I like to start on the right hand side. We have one right in front of the exit to the bird's nest area of the Daylight Prairie. So this is our second of four total seasonal candle bundles to find. We then can go either underneath that rock there, there's one there, or there's one towards the uh, village exit here. So whichever direction you're going to head in for your quests, I'd recommend doing. But I usually do this way. And then from under the rock here. So that was our third. And then this one here will be our fourth and final one. And collecting all four of these will allow us to forge one seasonal candle a day. Excellent. That is all four. I should be able to forge one candle now. Let's see. There it is. Awesome. Now with this collected, let's get started on today's daily quests. Well, hello, it looks like we have a brand new quest, which is to play any tournament sport. This goes alongside with the Tournament of Triumph event that's on right now. So what we're going to do is go into the tournament area. You can go to this event room and sit down. Or if you're in the old home space, you can just sit down at the portal that's probably right behind you. And this will bring us to the Coliseum. If this is your first time entering, you should see some sort of a opening ceremony cutscene. I'm probably just going to skip this for now. And then once we're done with the intro, we can enter either of these portals here. We have the Rain Race, or we have the Void Gather for today. You can enter either one of these and complete them, and then that will complete our quest. So feel free to join a game, complete it, and quest is complete. You don't have to place first place or anything like that. Just complete the game and the quest is complete. To ride a manta in the Daylight Prairie, all we have to do is find one and climb aboard. The easiest one, in my opinion, can be found in the Prairie Village. That's the place with the three bell towers. All we have to do is light each bell tower, and these mantas will be summoned. You can also do it in the Sanctuary Island if you have a couple mantas flying around. All you have to do is jump on their backs, like so. To meditate at Prairie's Koi Pond, all we have to do is fly up to the very top of the temple. You can also take a manta if it's hard for you to fly up, which it might be for some people. And the meditation spot can be found just on the right hand side of the little bridge. For meditation, all we have to do is sit down, it will give us a prompt and we just have to write an answer and we are done. The green light is a bit tricky to find. It can be found in the prairie bird's nest area, which is the rightmost area when you go down that cloud tunnel. The only thing is it will be flying in the air for quite a while and it will be unreachable. So I'm gonna stay here. This is where it will eventually fall. If we look up, you can see some mantas carrying a dim green light. They're gonna go around a few times, usually about, uh, I think it's five, four or five times in a circle. And then eventually they will drop it, and it should slowly fall in this area. For today's daily treasure candles, our first one can be found in the Hidden Forest social space right here. The next one will be in our first rainy area, directly towards the right hand side. The third candle will be found in the forest brook underneath this gazebo. And the fourth and final candle can be found right here in the sunny forest pond. Today's shard event is a red shard that takes place in the Daylight Prairie. All you have to do is head towards the Prairie Caves when we first fly down that cloud tunnel towards the left. Now this shard is actually extremely easy for a red shard and because it's a red shard, upon completion we'll get some ascended candles and you can also visit one of the shattering memories and get yourself a winged light. 
The shard timing is on the screen now. This is in PDT or PST time, but if you'd like to change it into your own time zone, you can do so by clicking the link below. It'll also show all the upcoming shard events in your own time zone, so it's pretty handy. So this is where the red shard falls. And like I said, this one is super easy. It's like a beginner's red shard. Um, there's just a couple regular crabs that you can flip. And we're just gonna run through this pretty fast. If you need to, I recommend bringing some sort of a prop to charge yourself just in case your um, light gets siphoned off too much by these red shards. But I think for this one you should be okay. There's just not a lot of places to recharge here. And phase one of this event is done. Now we just have to sit down to complete the second part. This is also extremely easy. We just have to run around and pick up these little crab memories. Just be sure not to jump into one of the red shards while you're running around. That one's super close. Ooh. And we're all done. So from this we can get a couple of ascended candles and if you wait a moment the little shard NPC will show up and it'll teleport you to a shattering memory. In that memory you should be able to find a winged light. Easy peasy for today. Good luck with your shard event. And that is all of today's daily changes in the Daylight Prairie. Thank you so much as always for watching you guys. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed. And I will of course see you in the next video. Bye bye.